Airlo Galaxy of Heroes. Here's a, um, a selection of battles from uh, my first round of round three of GAC. Is it round three? I don't know. Um, yeah, so within here, there's going to be the why, yeah, two reasons why you don't put Ewoks on defense. This is the first reason, which is that they are absolutely fantastic at clearing loads of different squads. Uh, this one here is a Zeta Calf. I'm not sure whether Mission has the Zeta or not, um, but they're a pretty tanky lot. And uh, it's all speeded up purely because of the fact that Ewoks, as like Geos, we'll come back to them later, are kind of death by a thousand cuts. Uh, so it does take a while. So yes, apologies, you're not getting the full length battle. Well, you are getting the full length battle. You just get it in the uh, extremely edited uh, for for this. So yeah, it died. Okay, this goes down to like 25 seconds or something uh, remaining, purely based on that I leave the two tanks till the end. Um, yeah. I want the damage dealers gone as soon as let's go get rid of a damage dealer there you go damage dealer done gone so now we've got as you can see two very stout tanks um both of which have some nasty little well actually not not nasty but they have some good abilities behind them however uh days is there the, like many kind of countering teams or whatnot, so assisting teams. Days is their Achilles heel. So, here we go. Uh, this one was my comp. Uh, I'd already decided that I was starting off. Um, top tier was Karth and Darth Revan. Bottom section was Jedi Knight Revan and Bounty Hunters. So, before I carry on, massive shout out for Darth Starkiller. Um, he's in my current guild. He was also in my beloved AAA Stars before uh, that imploded slightly, although they're really building back up. I'm digressing. Darth Starkiller. Cheers, fella. He he taught me through this. Um, I've, <laughs> I'm a victim of food poisoning today. Uh, I'm not going into the details. Uh, unfortunately, Darth Stark here, I got all the graphic details and um, I'm not sure if he's going to be eating later. I don't know. Anyway, uh, he was coaching me through this because I really, yeah, uh, I'm not great now. And, and it's like late evening and I'm still not recovered. I'm still aching from being ill and everything. Yeah, I did say I wouldn't go into details. Apparently, I, I lied. Anyway. So this was the other team uh, on front row, and this was nice, just woof, 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 and that wasn't speeded up, as you can see, 58 banners. Um, I might have posted some Geonosian TB on Reddit. Uh, this one here, right, I did say we'd come back to Geos. So here's the Geos uh, against the Jedi Knight Revan. I did say I'm Tom and Dick, sick, ill. Uh, I lost some recordings um, by Lost, uh, I forgot to record. So I missed out on the battle, which was actually probably a good thing because it was awful of how I ended up getting rid of his Gear 13 Jedi Knight Revan and leaving everyone else pretty much maxed. Um, but I'm discussing this and again, yeah, Darth Star Killer's like, ah, go for it, should be good. You're right, mate, it was. It is. Um, again, this is not speeded up, but tch, tch, uh, yes. So that achieved a couple of objectives there. And I also got some, well, including um, some separatist kills. These are a bit mixed up, but these are the cleanups afterwards and trying to do the undersized squad challenge. Um, yeah, uh, I tested the speeds, checked the speeds before going in, and they look good. So I'm just thinking we need to get rid of Greedo. Look at that dodger, bugger. 
But we do need to get rid of Greedo because I just can't afford him to go on one of these like merry. I'm going to shoot them 57 times because I quit each time. Nah, off you jog, mate. Off you jog. Right, so there's the two main threats as far as I'm concerned. She or Rakan obviously hit really hard. Oh, excuse me, really hard. Um, getting her stunned, of course, is fantastic. So we she can just wait until uh, we're ready. Now we're ready. Boom. Once again, cheers, Darth Starkiller. He, he's putting uh, this one. Oh, yeah. So I haven't actually faced Shaq clones. I just haven't faced them. So this was a new one for me. Again, um, you'll get bored hearing his name. But Darth Starkiller's like, no, nah, mate. You... We were talking through who was going with what and what I was using to clear with. And he's like, no, you need to hold on to Treya. Because this Shaq team is not one that you want to trifle with. I mean, I'm trifling in a way, insofar as it's a four-man, i.e. undersized squad. But this is triumvirate. I mean, this is one of, I keep saying it, this is one of the best squads. This is one of the, the triumvirate is your go-to. Uh, if you can't, re you know, if you're struggling to resolve how you're going to clear something, Nine times out of ten, it's going to be triumvirate. They are superb. And, um, yeah. We're really just chugging on through, waiting for the Annihilate. Timing. Bye-bye. That's a walkthrough. Piece of cake. Should have slapped it on auto. Having too much fun. It's not going on auto. Boom. Cody. Have some of that. Have some of this. Oh, that'll do. There you go. 59 banners. I did say uh, why you don't put Ewoks on defence. This is why. That actually should have been this is why. Again, this is speeded up. It takes a while. It does take a while. So, uh, but it's just so easy. Okay, you've you've... You lose Kira, uh, that's a given. Whoever the lead is, you lose. Uh, you do need a lead because, as you saw with my Ewoks, they are capable of taking down everything. Um, and yeah, that daze kind of became a bit annoying for a while. I mean, this is, I, I played this manually. I played part of it badly as well, but uh, Yeah, I did play it manu manually. Uh, whichever way, it takes a while. It does take a while. No, no, I think I'm mean, just going to enjoy the kills. I mean, half of it is actually, if she's not dazed. Half of it was just the response. Um, sorry, Darth Starkiller, because this is my final squad to do the clear. Um... I don't know. I don't know why, but I decided that I was going to go with the Darth Maul. I think it's because I saw I saw some stuff about Darth Maul Gear Thirteens and stuff on Reddit earlier, and it, it was stuck in my head. And if I could get a kill with Mister Gnarly here, uh, that would be another separatist kill. I, I can't remember if I do actually. I was being stupid. I was actually leaving him as the one that wasn't stealthed. Um, just that they would hit him and he would hit them back and make them regret hitting him in the first place. Did he? Oh. No. I nicked the kill there. Should have left that one. Never mind. Uh, so. I dropped banners. I have fun dropping banners. It was... A nice little trip down memory lane, running Darth Maul, um, and I always want to say Oh Savage, but <laughs> that's a clone. Uh, Savage Oppress. So yeah, getting to the end. Uh, only two of them left. We're gonna do it. I know we're gonna do it. It's 
we've got enough going and malls kind of just supercharging as they go through. So exactly do, whack, done. And I believe that is my run. Thank you for watching.